been about two days since uh, I posted that last video about the horizontal axis wind turbine. And my update so far is I have ran three phase all the way from the turbine out there by the ladder. Three phase AC and I brought the bridge rectifier inside and I have my DC coming out which I put to two alligator clips here so I can connect it to a load. And once I got all this hooked up we had about I don't know, six to eight mile an hour winds today and what I found is open circuit voltage was around 70 volts with the way I had uh, wired the stator which was back to factory which I believe this thing's capable of producing around 400 volts maximum so what I decided to do was since this spins a lot faster I can get more amps by going back to breaking the coils down into three sets so I figured at a 10 mile an hour wind I'd probably be hitting around 100, 150 volts I'd divide that down by three and we're in the 30 volt range so we'll see what happens there. So what I've done here, so I just went back, my ground's all tied together for one loop, and then each individual coil ties into its own its own phase three times. So your first set's here, the second set will be here where it ties in, one, two, and three, and then over here, one, two, and I got one more to do, and then we'll go ahead and get everything mounted back up. Here what I did is I got some grease and put on here. You'll notice I put a lot bigger tail. The tail that was on there, it wouldn't it wouldn't catch the wind. So I found a piece of cheap metal laying around and cut me a tail, which now works great. And then I mounted a little uh, three-phase lug here I got off of an air conditioning unit. So then I can take my three-phase coming back here to the bridge rectifier nice and easy to take apart and also here on the stator these three will also tie into that lug so it's easy to take apart if I need to uh, do some modifications got the stator mounted I'm gonna get another U-bolt I only had one that would fit I gotta get another U-bolt on the back side here but this one's pretty tight for temporary for testing and here's the terminal block. I got my three phase output from the smart drive generator coming to this terminal block. And then outside, once I get it mounted back up, I'll show you how the other wires connect to it. Here's how it sits on the pole. Of course, the blades aren't on it yet. And in here, I just linked everything together. So then I can take it apart real nice and easy if I want to. No slip ring on here, none of that. Wind only usually comes from two directions. And I doubt I'll have a problem with these wires twisting up. So let me go ahead and get the blades mounted on here. And then we'll wait for some wind. So today it is about 1230. We have winds of a maximum of 6 miles an hour. And as the day progresses, up until around 5, we should get the winds of 15 to 20. So I got everything wired up so we can get some amperages and voltage readings. Alright, we got the battery resting at 12.6. And I've had this one on for a while here on amperage, just in line so it'll read what's going into the battery. And just in this five to six mile an hour wind, we've already hit over half an amp, which was real hard to do with the Savonius wind turbine there. And I had it wired back to the factory setting, so at a slower rotational speed, the generator would produce a high enough voltage to actually charge the battery. But with the new wind turbine, I was able to take that generator and wire it so that it could rotate faster and produce more amps but it would have to rotate faster to produce a charging voltage so it seems like in the six mile an hour wind when it was blowing we did hit a charging voltage so it started producing amps and uh, so that's a good sign 
So here in an hour or so when the wind picks up a little more, uh, we'll take another reading. So we had another little gust come through and I hit almost an amp. So this is looking pretty promising to when the winds pick up and get steady. Because right now they are light and variable. Kind of exciting here, first time I have broken amp. Like I've said before with the Sylvanius, the most I ever got was 7 tenths of an amp. Came out here a couple minutes ago and noticed that we almost hit 2 amps and we haven't had winds above 8 miles an hour yet. Uh, like I said earlier today, we're supposed to hit 15 tonight, and then tomorrow we're supposed to be 20 to 30. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of amperage the smart drive motor will put out with its current configuration. Now, if I notice that it kind of stalls at a certain wind speed, I can always go ahead and drop it from five sets of coils and drop it down once again to or from three sets of coils and drop it down to five sets of coils. So that'll raise the this cutting is how it's wired currently. speed for charging voltage. But I have that three series strings wired in parallel. Level. That's how the coils broke down into three sets of coils. But in each of the strings, you have four individual coils that are wired in series. This has a cut-in charging voltage of it looks to be around about 60 RPM. In this next picture here, what I might do is rewire it to this, where I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of coils. But in each of those coil strings, I'll only have two coils in series. So that will raise my cut in charging speed, but it should increase the amperage quite a bit. We're in, uh, I'd say, 5 to 10 mile an hour range right now. And we had uh, max amp input so far has been 4.15, which is pretty decent. Hopefully when we get a good steady 15 mile an hour wind, we might hit around 8, 10 amps. That would be awesome. And we're charging the battery now. This was a pretty full battery to start with. It was sitting at like 12.7. Nice. So it's the next day and we got some pretty good winds. It's supposed to be a 20 mile an hour coming through here get out of the wind here so it don't mess up the video so it's the next day we got some good wind today it's uh, 20 mile an hour sustained but the wind turbine's in a dirty wind area because the wind is coming from my back left shoulder at most times and it's being blocked by the roofs It's off the load right now. I'm testing uh, open circuit voltages. And we'll go inside and I'll show you why I'm doing that. So at that rotational speed there, we're hitting a voltage of 22. It was at 24. There it goes again. And the best I've had so far has been 44 volts. Now, like I just mentioned, the windmill's in a dirty wind area, so if this was up 30, 40, 50 foot in the air and it could get clean wind, on a day like this it would be well over that 40 volt mark there. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking the coils, and I have three sets of coils now, all paralleled together, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that down to six sets of coils all paralleled together. So, 
where are we at here? 24 volts, 25 volts, spinning that fast. If I drop it in half, in theory, I should still be able to charge the battery at that rotational speed. That would be my cut-in speed, basically. And then anything above that would just start generating amperage to go into the battery. So, amperage-wise, So far today with the wind coming out of the direction it's coming now, the max I've hit is two and a third of an amp. The wind's blowing nice and hard out there right now, but it's just not catching the wind where the wind's blowing. There we go. My highest reading of the day. So, if I take the coil set from 3 and knock it down to 6, the amperage should go up quite a bit, plus it's going to be spinning a lot faster. So, in theory, if I just hit 3 amps there, I should be able to hit 10, maybe 12 after I rewire it. So if I hit 10 amps that's 120 watts that would be going into my battery bank. Oh and another thing here I had this one here just on the wind turbine itself and when the wind would pick up and I hit those 4 amp marks yesterday uh, the battery voltage would go to 15.6, 15.8 so what I did is I got some heavy gauge uh, wire here and just ran that back to my terminal block here so it's tied in with the rest of the batteries now uh, when I when it's charging with the wind and the solar it uh, the three batteries on there in parallel absorb the shock of the high voltage a lot better so I got some more solder I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing down and wire it for six coils in parallel and see what that does for my amps charging voltages my max I've hit is 14.65 so the batteries are keeping the voltage clamp down pretty decent got a gust of wind out there now oh, almost hit 15 yeah, so this here is definitely showing me that the generator is putting out too high of a voltage when we catch a good wind. So the way it's set up now, I would probably hurt the batteries if that was in a real decent wind. It would push them way too high because I don't have any sort of a dump load. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to get everything disassembled and rewire the coil to just put the coils down to six sets. I rewired the stator for the six parallel sets of coils. And it definitely spins a lot easier, it definitely spins faster. And as fate would have it, it is towards the end of the day and the winds have died down considerably. So, since I put it back together and the winds have died down, I've only achieved 0.4 of an amp. Uh, but that was in a pretty light breeze. And right now, it's just barely spinning. So, since I rewired it, the cutting speed is definitely higher before it starts charging, which is what we wanted. Uh, voltage readings I was taking uh, a little bit earlier and I was getting a the highest voltage I seen was 15 and of course that was with the winds had died down too um, and even with the slow speed a little bit faster than it is now I was hitting 10 11 so once I get this up in some decent wind and uh, the next windy day then we can really test some amperages 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe.